Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rabbi, Rabbi Jubaka with the beard of wisdom. That's right, coming to you from Key Largo. And you know that in real life, everybody wants something. And a rabbi, as a rabbi, I want money. And then there's the people downstairs that want to work to stay in a shape. That's a Barry with the yellow shirt. I, I mean, uh, <laughs> Rich, Richie with the yellow shirt. And a Barry with the camouflage shirt. He wants my chain, baby. Barry and I have been talking about taking this chain off of the tree for about four months. And today we're going to take the chain off of the tree. And we're going to do this. If you want to start a cutting over there with the with that saw, you kind of do that. You want to cut that rope there? Right here? Yes, sir. Here's now, do you want to take the buoys off first? Because that buoy weighs about 100 pounds. Really? Yeah. Or well, do you want to just drop it down with the buoy on it? It's okay. Richie, take the hose out of there. You can start. No, no. You want to leave it on or you want to cut it off? Well, yeah, sure, you could cut it. Yeah, cut that. I'd cut it right there. I wouldn't worry about the tree. It's cutting. Richie, take that hose out of there. Please. Yes, sir. Barry and I have been horse trading on this on this chain for a good solid four or five months. Look at him a go, ladies and gentlemen. That is what is called a tree saw, and it will cut it cut a limb. Yeah, just cut the last one. Go more vertical with that. Uh, Richie, move that piece of plywood okay. out of there. And you shorten that up. Now remember that, 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 that go vertical. And just cut the one piece. There you go. Just that one right there. You didn't <laughs> thought I was kidding about that weight on that, did you? I wouldn't kid you about that. Now, what you should do is let, no, forget that. That's just a piece of rope. Now, you should come on the outside here, Barry, and move the stuff away from the bottom of the fence. Just move that, move that, uh, what is that, a fishing pole? That's my gaff. Okay. That's my gaff? No, it's my gaff. Oh, when you said that's my gaff and I heard that's my gaff, I forgot I left my gaff over there. Okay, now, now you move the uh, the the cone. All right, Barry, you can cut that rope now from the outside. Now it's going to have a lot of weight on it, Richie. You give me, no, not that one. I can cut that one. You got to cut the outside one. Yes, sir. That's the one. No, huh? Oh, yeah, that's almost a quarter of the way through already. Yeah, don't try to put so much pressure on it. Just go lightly, Barry. That's the way. Beautiful, like that. It's going. Richie. Yeah. See that piece of rope on the other side of the blue 55-gallon drum? Okay, yep. Hand that to me, please. Ah, uh, 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 ah, uh. ah.
Michael, you want me to source an extra on this? I don't think that's the way to go, but that's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, but, but the, the pressure is not going to let you cut it. Okay. All right, maybe you could jerk it down. Michael, you want me to toss it up on the leg? Please. You, you can't, you have to cut it. You can't, you, you, you don't have enough pressure to, uh, that's it. Like, that's beautiful, Barry. Just little strokes, little quick strokes, light strokes. I think it went, no? No, not yet? All right. I wouldn't worry so much about that one anymore. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's bearing a lot. Of no, well, it'll either break or it, it'll act at like a slow fall. Okay. Leave that one. Now, uh, huh. there's no way I could grab this thing from here. Yeah, that knot's not going to come out of there so easy. Probably could. No, no. You know what? I'm going to cut this side, and we're going to let the weight of wherever it is, you can cut it from there later. All right, but it's gonna fall hard now. Okay, now you can cut the one that's over this link here, Barry. You put the saw there. I'll tell you which one. Not that. On top of that. Forget that one. That's dead. Forget that. Right there. Cut that. Remember I told you how hard this was going to be to get out of the tree? And you were going, oh, you'll do it. Yeah, you, you, I'm, and you would do it, I'm sure. But it's not as easy as you thought, is it? Nothing ever is. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nothing ever is. Now, you, you only get the chain, right? We talked about that. Right. Okay. Because I could sell those boots. Unless you want to buy them, I'll sell them to you cheap. But that's up to you. Okay. Now flip that piece that you just cut out of there. Flip it around the tree. There you go, like that. Okay, now you got to try to cut the next one. Or, or, give it to me. Give me the cutter. Send it to me, Barry. No, I'm not going to be able to get this. You want to make it both shorter? It doesn't matter. I really don't want to break the tray.
See if you could wrap the rope around the tree. All right, hold on, hold on. Maybe there's nothing holding it up, so be careful. Maybe there's nothing but friction on this rope. Yeah. And maybe this is the last cut. I should charge you for my fucking labor here. Yeah. those buoys in the front, you're going to help me get them there. All right? All right. We can cut the ropes off of that if you have a knife, or I'll bring a knife down. After moving all that... Yeah, we just moved four, four and a half yards of dirt just before you finished. I finished blowing before you got here. That's what we were doing when you called. Nice. All right. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Rabbi Drew Barker. Another job well done with with Mr. Batty and Mr. Rich. Richie Rich. That's Richie Rich who was down there moving the metal, ladies and gentlemen. Richie's always involved in every project. If he's on the job, he's working. He's a good man. I was even thinking about I'm going to trade off of some of the stuff with him. I have a very nice juicer, a champion juicer from the 1980s. I'm going to trade off of that champion juicer for some of that labor. Uh, uh, oh boy. It's 90 degrees here. At least, at least 90, and it's 120 in the sun. No joke. It's October 13th or something like that, and it's at least, yesterday was 85 and it felt like a winter day compared to today. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Hmm. Barry, do you collect old stamps? What, what, what? Old stamps? No. I got it. Do you know anybody that does? No, I sure don't. All right. Okay. No, not that, Rich. I gotta wait for Ruben to come pick him up on the inside of the gate. Okay. Uh, yeah, where these chairs are. Oh. Oh. 
You need a knife, Barry? I brought a knife down. Here. Yeah. Easy. Yeah? Yeah. All right, thank you. All right, that you could just leave right on the outside. Just throw it down on the floor. Right there. That's good. Thank you. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rabbi, Rabbi Drew Barker. This, this is, how hot is it today? It's hot. It's probably 88 degrees and... And 120, 120 in the sun? Probably, yeah, 110. I have a thermal meter that said when it's 92 degrees, it's 172 degrees on a tire. But I don't have it with me, but I've done videos on that before. Adios, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if Mr. Obama had a son, it would be like a Trayvon and Martin. And there's a 50% chance it would be in heaven. And a 50% chance it would be in hell. That's right. And this is uh, Rabbi Jew Boyka saying, that's right. Oy vey.